So this next series of videos are all about the transform commands. We're in video number 21 called copy. And uh, so if you'd like to open up your drawing that relates to this video, and your drawing is also called 21 copy, we're going to learn how to copy some stuff around. Okay, and you can see I've already been playing with some of these uh, rectangles. And uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to copy uh, this rectangle from here straight up on polar axis 90. So I'm going to issue the command first of all, and the command in AutoCAD is COPY, enter. The command line says select objects, so I'm going to put a blue window from the left hand side of the screen towards the right, all over my rectangle to, to pick it up. Once it's selected, I press enter. And the base point now is the next thing that we need to choose. So if you look at the command line, it says specify base point. I'm going to choose the top left hand corner of my rectangle. Click and move directly north. And as I get up here, I'm going to type in 1 meter 200, enter. And because we were on polar axis, Okay, it's copied it up precisely the amount that we've asked. And if you want to just double check that, we can use our measuring tool, which is up here, which is just this ruler. And I'm going to measure from my base point to my second point, and it says 1 meter 200. Okay, and escape to come out of that. Now, I'm going to actually now do an undo. And the reason I'm going to do an undo is because copy will repeat more than once so i'm going to show you what i mean by that i'm going to use my ordinary control z to undo okay so i'm going to use the copy command and in this case i'm going to use the shortcut which is co co on the keyboard and press enter then copy the objects with a blue window enter the base point is the top left hand corner. Click, move straight up on polar 90 degrees, and we're going to type in the length, which is 1 meter 200. And there we are, we've got our copy, but we're still going. So let's do one over here on the left hand side. Make sure you're snapped to 180 degrees. We'll type in the distance 1 meter 800, enter. And there we are, we're still going. So we're going to try something up here at a distance of two meters at an angle of 135 degrees. So that's going to be 2000, tab 135 degrees, enter, and enter to finish. So you can see now that, first of all, copying is straightforward. All you've got to do is select the object and decide on the direction and the distance. And of course, you've also got the fact that it repeats itself. It continues copying until you say I've finished, which is press enter. And uh, so we've copied up, we've copied sideways, and we've copied at an angle. Okay. So that's great. Now, down here on the right hand side, you'll see that uh, we've got copy, okay, and uh, we can copy randomly. Let's have a little go at uh, copying randomly so we get a feel for what's going on. So here we are, we're going to say CO, which is the shortcut for copy, select this small circle. We're going to pick it up in the middle and we can put it down wherever we like, okay, and as many times as we like. So you can be as random as you like. And as you notice, uh, if you've got polar tracking turned on, you can snap onto polar tracking as well. Okay. And enter. Now in the bottom right hand corner, we can show that we can do a linear array with the copy command. And I'm just going to talk you through that. Okay. This little heading gives you a bit of an idea as to what we're going to do. We're going to do the copy array 
we're going to do four in the copy. We can count the circles one, two, three, four at 600 millimeters apart. So we're going to type in copy and select this circle on its own and press enter. We're going to pick up the center as our start point and pull in that direction. But if you look at the command line now, you'll see on the command line one of the options is array. So we'll just use the capitalized letter for that, A, enter. How many items in the array? Four, enter. What's the distance in between? 600, enter. And enter to finish. Good. So that's pretty cool as well. So have a little play with those ideas and practice them until you're good and then come and join us on the next video which is all about moving objects around.